something's risen and it's risen to a rate that has never been known in Australia. It's called vitamin D deficiency. You see, when the ultraviolet rays from the sun hit the skin, they convert a form of cholesterol just under the skin to vitamin D. Now, did you notice what this, this is converted to vitamin D? Cholesterol. You can have someone with vitamin D deficiency because they're on cholesterol-lowering medication. So when the sun's rays hit the skin, they convert a form of cholesterol just under the skin to vitamin D. It takes two hours for the conversion to happen. So if someone goes into a shower and washes themselves with soap straight after their exposure to sun, they will get no vitamin D. You have to wait two hours. You can lay in the sun, dive in the creek, and you won't lose it because you're not scrubbing your oil off. Vitamin D is being hailed today as the anti-cancer vitamin. Research is showing that vitamin D can stop cancer cells developing and even reverse them. Now when you consider what we looked at on Monday, the link between cancer and fungus, what does sun do to fungus? Annihilates it, totally annihilates it. Vitamin D is essential for the assimilation of calcium in the body. And calcium's got a nickname. It's called the king. Because when calcium gets into the body, all the other minerals piggyback on the back. If you can get calcium in, you can get all the other minerals in. And the gardener knows it. When the gardener increases the calcium in his soil, he increases all the other minerals automatically in the soil. And calcium is essential for the strong bones. And we've got an epidemic in Australia today, another epidemic, it's called osteoporosis. Yeah? Osteoporosis, in a land of many people on cholesterol-lowering medications, not having sun exposure, not getting vitamin D, not able to get their calcium, the bones are starting to weaken and dentists are making a fortune on people's mouths. Yeah? How much does a filling cost today? Would it be $200? And the rest? I know one lady, she went and just had a, they had a look at her teeth, no cavities, so they said, oh, we'll give it a clean while you're here. And she said, oh, all right. $158. Whew, it's, we'd look after these teeth. <laughs> That's where your oil pulling is such a fantastic, easy, cheap way to keep that microbial community in your mouth at the right balance because when the community gets out of balance and the harmful microbes increase they're the ones that actually can eat away at the enamel but we've got to strengthen these bones too by making sure we're getting adequate vitamin D the good news is you only need 15 minutes on your face a day to get all the vitamin D that you need for that day but there are days where there's not a lot of sun so my suggestion is you have a little bit more Something interesting about vitamin D is not only do you need to not have washed your skin with soap for two hours before or two hours after to get your vitamin D, but you also need to make sure you're having that exposure. If you're in the sun for half an hour, your body stops making vitamin D and it can have a negative effect on the body being able to make vitamin D. Whoa. So overexposure and underexposure to the sun can both cause vitamin D deficiencies. And we're in the sun for half an hour, we usually get burnt, don't we? And if we get burnt, what's the body saying? Don't, don't stay out in it for that long. My suggestion is you do 10 minutes front, 10 minutes back, maybe a couple of times a day. And if you do that, after several days, you will start to see a lovely tanned colour come on your skin. Little by little by little, the body develops a tan, and that's the best protection against sun cancer. You've seen on the side of the road, there's that great big picture of a lady lying in the sun with a bikini on, and it cell says, skin cells in trauma. I'd love to get up there with a paintbrush and write, if she's dehydrated, if she had margarine for breakfast, because it comes out as a toxic, a toxic fat on the skin and reacts with the sun and can cause damage in the skin. If she's a coffee drinker, if she's been there more than 15 minutes. See all the ifs? That's the only time they would be in trauma. But if she's well hydrated, 
had a nourishing breakfast, she's only been out there for 15 minutes, they're not in trauma. They're actually receiving healing.